most of the time, you know, I can't read them. I'm in too much pain and, and because I'm in crisis, um, my eyes may be watering because I'm crying. You know, I'm not gonna see that form anyway. So it's, it's, I wouldn't use my blindness as an excuse at all for the form. It's just that most of the time, a, a regular vision, a, a regular warrior with, 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 with 2020 vision is not gonna be able to read your form because they're, grunt, they're grunting, they're squinting, they're, they're crying. They've had a rough eight hours. Normally we wait eight or so hours just to know that this is actually a crisis that's not gonna go away. Because sometimes you have a crisis, it comes on, you take two Tylenol, extra strength, you wait four hours, it goes away. You start feeling better and you don't have to go in. You wait eight hours, it doesn't go away. Now you have to face the music, now you have to go in. So a normal sickle cell warrior, they probably waited eight or more hours before they got their pain taken care of. So they've already been through hell and back. So the form is the last thing they can probably focus on. So there's gonna be a lot of difficulties for forms in the first place for us. So normally there's an advocate there, a parent or somebody else who is going to fill, help you fill out those forms. Or if you're alone, that form is not going to get filled. It's gonna get, get, get filled by the nurse who's asking the questions and they're filling out the form for you and they ask you to sign it. You know, that's usually how it works.